Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the seventh video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of the context menu. We have seen what are the different type of menu available in ServiceNow and how they are different from each other from the from view and the list view and also like uh, what are their functions, what are the options available. So we have discussed a lot of things. So if you missed the video guys, don't worry, I'm going to put the link on the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen, right hand top corner. Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. Okay. So we are going to learn about the modify the list and form. So we have seen a lot of things in the list, how they are different from a form view and many more, right? So, but today we are going to see how we are going to change the options in the list view and in the form view also, right? That's going to be very, very interesting guys. Make sure you watch the complete video to understand it, right? Okay. So we are going to see about the personalized list the configure list layout, list calculation and control, personalize form, configure form layout and finally form design. So let's go to the PowerPoint. Let's understand few things. Then I'll move you to the demo section and I'll show you all of these things. OK, so let's start. So personalize list. So by the name, you understand the list that you can control or customize, customize or personalize in your own way. So each and every user can personalize their list view the way they want. That's the personalized list option. So it's a user specific. Definitely you can add or remove field and how you're going to do that. So for an example, if you go to the incident form and you need to click on this gear icon where the arrow is pointed. So there you would be open to there you'd be able to get the personalized list view, right? I'm going to show you. So let's understand with an example. So normally in the list view, incident list view, we have seen this guy, these fields are already there, like number, open, short description, caller, priority state. And with the help of the personalized list, you can make like this also. So like only we have the number, short description, you don't need the open date. You don't need the uh, state also. You don't know, need the updated and updated by. So as per your requirements, you can personalize the list. That is the personalized list view, right? Clear? Let's move on. Next, we have the configure list layout. So when there is something configured, that means that has done by the administrator. If an administrator configures something in the list layout, change something, add or remove field, that's going to apply to all of the system. Now you can say, Pritam, then what is the use of personalized form? You can still personalize the way you want. So personalized list mint means you need all only those field which is required for you. OK. So that doesn't mean that you are changing all other system because you are just personalizing the way you want. Maybe it's a little difficult to understand right now, but once I'll go to the demo, it will clear it, right? So configure list layout, like I say, controlled by the administrator. So applied to the all over the system. So for the configure list, you need to go to the column options menu and there you need to go to configure and list layout right from here. And it looks like this, okay? Now enough of this, let's go to the service now and I'm going to show you the demo of it. OK, so I'm now in my service now. So you can see I'm logging as a system administrator. So you just learned that administrator can configure the list layout. OK, normal user cannot. So now I will log in as a normal user and I will try to use the personalized form. OK, uh, so so you'd say Pritam, you need to log out and log into with another user credential. No, I don't need to because I'll discuss about this in later also what is impersonate. So I'll just let you know that with the help of the impersonate user, you are gonna, you can log in with any user of this ServiceNow demo instance. As a service administrator, you have the right, you can log in with any user in this ServiceNow available. Okay, so I'll click on impersonate user and I'll log in with ITIL user. Okay, so these are the things I was trying before. So that's why it's coming. All you need to do is search here. So ITIL user, why? So I need to go to those users specifically. I need to log in with those users who can actually have the access for the incident form or the change form problem form anything. So from all this access like from incident create incident change problem all these things you need a specific role and this is called the ITIL role. OK, so I'll discuss about this role and group user in different sections later in this series. Just for now, I think you understood right to have the incident form and work on the incident change problem. You need the ITIL role available. So this users call ITIL user has the ITIL role available. So I will log in 
with this user i'll click on impersonate user now you will see i'm logged in as a itil user see okay now i'll go to the incident list so quickly i'm gonna type incident dot list to go to the list view of the incident so you see i have this option number opened all these options so i'm gonna change it so i don't need this many options so all i need to click on this gear icon and you'd see now these are the field which are showing right now in the service now in the list view so with the help of personalized list personalized list i can also add few field from on the left hand side you can see there are a lot of field available in the incident table which i can add for an example i can add active field so i want to see whether this incident is active or not so i'll just add it also you can see i can just uh, i can just put it the way i want so maybe i want it after opened and maybe i don't need the updated by option and also i need the urgency we don't have the urgency we have the priority so before priority we need to see the urgency of the ticket okay and then the priority in this order once you done just click on okay so it's numbered opened then you see the active field has added urgency priority so itil user has done the personalized list options now it won't be same for system administrator and it won't be same for any other itil user because like i said each and every user who has the itil role or access in this incident form they can configure this uh, so they can personalize the list the way they want for their own benefit okay so now let me show you let me impersonate with another user i will impersonate with david lu because david lu has the itil role here in the demo account now i'll show you same incident list view and you will see incident dot list and now you will see there is no urgency added or there is no there is no active tab added so this is a default view okay so personal so now you understand now david look and click on this gear icon and do the personalized list the way he wants all right clear so this is all about personalized list now i will end the impersonation to go back to system administrator i need to click on end impersonation and you'd see i would be again system administrator now i need the admin role because i'm going to show you the list configure layout incident dot list and here whatever i'm going to change that's going to apply to all of the users all right so i need to go to the column option menu from here i need to go to configure and then from here list layout so now i'm configuring the list layout however you can find the options are quite similar but we have this green field available you can see green field with a plus sign that means these are the field called the related list related field so it's a related list also called so we'll discuss about it more in the later in the series but just for now with the help of it if i just click on here and click on this icon to expand it you see under assign to field we have the active avatar city class so you can add this field also business phone so it will show you assign to whoever the ticket is assigned also his picture maybe if you select picture his city so in this way so i don't need any of the related fields as of now so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to remove the priority field from here so this is a list configure i'm doing and i'm going to add the impact and urgency okay uh, urgency here and i don't need the uh, i don't need the short description okay so it's important uh, let's move the let's add the sub category option we have the category but we need this sub category so we have this sub category let's add it and now make it as a order so impact will go to after category sub category will go to after category and then impact and then urgency okay now this is configuring in the list layout view you can see the view name is default view so it's going to be applied for everyone in the system all right now i, I you can see it has been applied and we have now field called impact urgency here and also we have the category subcategory right so now let's quickly go to the david lu's account so david lu does not have any personalized list that means david lu is going to see the same things what system administrator has configured right because 
it is configured in the list layout so that means it is going to apply to across all of the users so now david lu if go to the incident dot list view he would able to see all of the field right what system administrator configured like category subcategory impact urgency right but now if i go to the itil user what do you think itil user what itil user is gonna see itil user is gonna see the design or the personalized list what she has already configured okay so you can see it does not have the impact urgency is that it has the urgency how she configured it also has the also has the active tab right what she has configured what we have done on the beginning so it has not been changed here okay why why it has not been changed because it has been personalized so if i click on this gear icon you can see the personalization has been done here now if if itil user click on the reset to column defaults then it would go back to the settings or the layout what the administrator has set where we have the impact urgency category subcategory right so this is how the list things work now i'll again end the impersonation and go to the system administrator and i'm going to show you the list control and list calculation very quickly that could be useful sometime so i will go to favorite and incident all so from here uh, for an example i want to calculate so let's go to the impact one this one and i'll go to the option configure and list calculation so what it is going to do it is asking it will calculate the total value of all the impact field is there what how many results are there what is the minimum value what is the maximum value and what is the average value also so let's try that let's try with total value maximum value and on the average value click on okay so now if i scroll down here totally in the bottom you see i have the total number is 127 counting all this number we have the maximum of three because you see impact is uh, three so that's one two three three is the highest number so it's maximum and the average is 1.87 so this is a quick uh, tool that you can use you could say quick option you can use right so this is the list calculation and we have also the list uh control and here you can like whatever the list view you are seeing you can control that for an example you know there is an icon called new there is a button called new from where you can raise a new incident quickly show you so let me go to the old incident all tab in the new tab so here you see there is a new button by clicking which we can create a new incident so if I don't want that, I can directly click on this checkbox called omit new button. I can edit roles, whoever, whoever, who is going to access it and many more things. We can omit filters, we can omit links, stuff like that. And if I click on update now, you see, now I do not have any new button. Also, if I go to this page and refresh it, there is no new button available, right? Because we have omitted. So that's how, that's a quick example. That's how you can, uh, you know control the list so if i go back again and just remove it and update it then i will have the button again back okay so this is all about personalized list configure list layout and also about the list calculation and list control now let's go to the powerpoint and now we have the personalized form so again it's like personalized list however we cannot add anything here okay what what we can do is quickly we can remove fields maybe we don't need all the form fields which are available right so how we can do that we need to open an incident for it and it is the form view so we have to open incident or the new incident form so there we need to click on this button and then it will then you can change it right so it's a user specific again remove icon from the form and once you will click it you will get this form once you click this icon you will get this options okay quickly i'm going to show you don't worry now configure form layout again whenever it, there is a configured word that means it's something need to do by the administrator so add and remove field you can add on remove field in the form control by the admin you can see this is how you will go open the form then go to the menu configure form layout okay and then you will get the same kind of screen about list layout so quickly i'm going to show you this so let me go to the service now okay and let's open any incident 
because we need the form view so this is the generic form view we have these options and this stuff so quickly if i click on here personalized form so i can just remove each any of the field which i don't want for an example i don't want category you see category has gone also i can move my mouse here and i can click just hide this option hide this option and it will go okay so this is why if i just click on outside and if i save this record or reload this page you will see those options are not showing anymore those options from the form are not showing so you are personalized again personalized personalized means it's a user specific so this is i'm doing as a system administrator now if i go back to the david lu or idl user they won't show so they won't have it because this is a personalized option now again if i just click on here and click on reset so all the field will come back right so now i'll going to show you the configure form layout if i go to configure and then form layout and in the form layout now this is something only administrator can do and this will apply to the all of the user so what i want is that now let's uh, let's 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 do something let's move the configuration uh, no service offering uh, let's let's add some field let's add let's add domain we want to add domain here updated by okay so again guys this you need to practice a lot and you know with different different options how it's looking like and stuff like that you need to practice with your own development instance so i've done it and then click on save now this is something i have done now you see i have so many options called domain i have one option called updated by automatically it would be selected because as i logged in as admin so i have removed the service offering now these are the things that has i have done from the list uh, the form layout view so that means it will apply to all of the users throughout all of the users okay okay now let me go back to the again to the form layout and you can see it is selected for the incident section the that means let me open this and show you that means this section also we have the notes section so you can add also field in here in the notes section let's go to the notes section we have the work notes activity tab and right now available you see work additional comment work note acti activity so you can add more fields here if you want or you can remove it now related records under related records menu this is section here also you can add a field so let's add a field here under the related record let me add a field let me add category so add category and click on save now if i scroll down and go to the related record see we have a category field so you can configure the list layout or the form layout the way you want right now very lastly i'm going to show you show you the form design so you can control the way it would looks like so it is not looking quite good right we have so many fields here and less fields here so i'll go to the menu again configure and this time i'm going to choose form design and it will open in a new tab and here you would be able to see a lot of different things so here it is showing you how it is look like so i will put some field here so maybe impact field on here on this side urgency field you just need to you can understand right it's simply i'm dragging it after impact we have urgency okay and also the priority field let's put the priority field here so now you are defining how it is going to look like okay in the incident form view also you can add field from on the left hand side and you can also remove fields okay now if i want that category option should go after number before caller you can just do that by this once you done you need to click on save it is save now now if i go to the any incident this one and let, let's reload it now you see we have the impact urgency priority on the left hand side we have category option before the caller and also we have the less option on the right hand side so you see it's pretty simple and pretty easy all you need to do watch the video completely and practice it on your own development instance so that you have the you know ability to do that because being an administrator you have to do all this stuff right so thank you for watching this video guys i hope you have cleared your concept now if you find this video helpful hit on the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in my next video bye bye